Hi, good morning, friends. I am Dr. Ashok Loda, specialist pediatrician and specialist neonatologist at uh, Bell Hall Specialty Hospital, Dubai. Hope you all are healthy, fit, fine, safe, and I hope you all had a good, happy Eid. Um, friends, invariably, most of the people, most of the time, they think that uh, doctors are so busy in books, so busy in patients, they are academicians. When will they getting, uh, are getting time for their hobbies or their passions? But today on my talk show, I have an exception. He's not only very famous consultant neonatologist working at Zuleka Hospital, but he has wonderful, unique passion and hobby of Yes, you got it right. <laughs> whistling. Whistling, you know, traditionally, conventionally, it was always thought that it is just a time pass. And sometimes uh, most of us, when we were young or teenagers or adolescent, we used to always think that it is a, one of the mode of teasing someone. And uh, I was just reading about whistling before inviting Dr. Sridhar. <laughs> I found out one interesting myth. They told that if you whistle in the house and poverty comes and if you whistle in the night time, snakes comes. That's exactly what Shridhar, Dr. Sridhar will prove wrong. <laughs> he's whistling, he's very rich and he will tell if he has seen any snakes. <laughs> Welcome Dr. Sridhar on my show. Thank you Dr. Ashok for inviting me. It's a unique opportunity. Appreciate your invitation. Yeah. yeah, today we are really not talking anything about your hospital or academics, etc. Just tell me, this is something different. Uh, most of the doctors also don't know that you are whistling. Most of your patients perhaps might not be knowing your unique hobby. So tell me, at what age, um, when we are young, we all whistle. But at what age you really thought that this can be developed as an art form, uh, as, a, as a passion, as a hobby? I mean, I have always had an interest in music. I mean, uh, when I was young, I used to listen to cassettes of uh, Binaka Gitmal. I don't know if you are familiar yeah, yeah. with that. I mean, I mean, say any, so I mean songs say from, any. Yeah, from 60s and 70s, very popular songs. And then we got introduced to Boniam and Abba around the same Abba. time. So. Abba. <laughs> We had also a uh, masterpiece in music called Shankara Barnam, it's a song. Mm -hmm. So all these stimulated my interest in music. So I used to hum and uh, sing and all. But when we were in, uh, I was in probably 7th or 8th standard and I had a friend of mine who was uh, in his 11th standard at that time. We were neighbors. Mm -hmm. So I could see that he was trying to whistle tunes and then I tried of my own and I realized that I could do it. and. Actually, this interest developed more when I was in my 10th and 11th standard. So okay. I used to whistle and when I joined medicine, that's the first time I started doing it in stage shows in college when we had our annual meets, I used to do one or two songs <laughs> and uh, my friends used to appreciate it. But I never did uh, anything on the stage, maybe once at my sister's wedding and once in my MD pediatrics. But after that, just last year when we had our 30th uh, year after joining medicine, we had a get together for both uh, my wife and my uh, class. I mean, we I whistled some songs there and after that I started this YouTube channel just recently uh -huh. on whistling as well as um, medicine. So it's an interesting story. So to be exact, I don't uh, remember when, but it was probably in my eighth or ninth standard and this was the motivation. Oh yeah, so let's say around 15, 17 years of age you started. No, I mean uh, eighth standard is around 12, 13. 12, 12 14 uh, later on. Okay, good. So, uh, and then now to, to whistle a song, uh, you must be requiring to do some practice. Uh, you learned it on your own way or did you took help of some YouTube or some training or it is just inbuilt? I guess it's inbuilt. I mean, I don't practice <laughs> also. When I hear a tune, I can whistle it immediately. Oh, that's wonderful. So you just hear it, listen it properly and then you can take out uh, in a whistle form. But it requires, I, as I understand, a lot of control on your breathing, right? To, to match that pitch and tone. And number two, you should have that uh, uh, sense of rhythm and the pitch and music. Mm -hmm. 
yeah that's very important the knowledge yeah. of music knowledge. is very important yeah. so that probably comes intuitively to me uh, i didn't learn music also i had a couple of sessions when i was young but we didn't proceed with that i mean i lost interest in carnatic music but yeah. the rhythm and the love for music should be there for you to yes. do it and you should be able to modulate and but how exactly it works i'm not able to still figure out i mean <laughs> it's a bit like speaking i mean you are uh, modulating yeah. your uh, lips and this yeah. uh, tongue yeah. movements mm-hmm. but uh, how exactly the sound is produced i can't really tell you <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fine because uh, everyone has his own pitch and tone of the voice but i'm just guessing whether everyone everyone's whistle need not sound sweet so has it something to do with good voice good singing voice or if singing voice is not okay still your whistling uh, voice whistling sound would be musically appreciated and is that something like that you have realized you, you, i mean that, really, you, i have uh, let let me put it indirectly do you sing well i sing a little bit i mean I, <laughs> i don't sing very well i'm in my average sing you can say but i've been looking at uh, others whistling Mm. so it's very interesting on youtube there are many yeah. uh, videos and there is even indian whistlers association correct yeah. but the way most of the whistlers produce the sound is different from the way i am producing it i mean it's not uh, it's not that uh, hollow whistling that you get uh, the typical whistling is a tune you get with uh, i don't know if you remember the western music uh-huh. so it's the western uh, cowboy music ah yeah so yeah so that kind of, oh you yeah. you you remind me of mackenas uh, mackenas Macana, yeah. gold is it then ma- background Coast music tune, of yeah. mackenas gold that cowboy movie was there yeah long this tune used to be there the whistling used to whistling be there tune, but yeah, uh, yeah yeah mind comes more musical uh, than uh, high i mean the pitch is a little lower than that ah which is like and uh, are there different types of whistling uh, one is in which you can produce a song or it, it, it can it be a kind of a sign language or a whistling language if you want to call someone yeah, actually to... came across that on the internet as well that there's some <laughs> island in new zealand where they have whistling as a language <laughs> and you know of course the calling out whistle which i can't do the <laughs> loud whistle which people call you from a distance so that i can't do i tried it i failed so yeah 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 see that, that that was interesting when i thought of you to take interview even i read few things there are some areas i think uh, japan is called whistling capital or something and few other countries if they want to call someone or they want to call uh, as pass, pass on some secret messages they just do different kind of picture of whistling okay so so uh, viewers whistling is just just not a time pass it is really an art with practice you can have melodious melodious sounds by whist- whistling and uh, we are so on- happy to have dr shridhar and of course uh, we won't let him go i would like him to first i would like him to 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 uh, sing a uh, by whistle his favorite song whatever indian or tamilian Actually, malayalam uh, your favorite one just few lines yeah no i have uh, i think i was uh, thinking of the independence day coming up the indian independence day uh-huh. wonderful so maybe i'll do vande mataram oh beautiful beautiful yeah
Thank you. Very good. Very good. Yeah, 15 August is approaching. We, we Indians uh, feel very sentimentally connected with this one. And I could see that you require, I mean, the breathing would be helping uh, in your uh, deep inspiration and expiration. So uh, I'm going to ask, uh, whistling has an advantage. Breathing, uh, you can recommend to uh, some patients also. When I whistle at home, my wife and kids shout at me, so I wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> yeah, because you you really have it's, to have good... Uh, quite loud. I mean, when yeah, you try what, to whistle, it's loud. Yeah, yeah. What, what we in technically call FEV1. So your FEV1 has to be good. Then only you can have control modulation over it. Uh, can you say uh, sing any Tamilian or Bollywood also some songs? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can uh, come slightly close, uh, if it is possible. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. I told you about the uh, Bonium song. Yeah, yeah, sure. This one. Yeah, yeah. Good. Very nice. Then Abba. Oh, Abba. Yeah, yeah. Shrizar, if you, sorry, Shrizar, can you tell which which song you are uh, going to sing? Yeah, before you start singing. So the Bonium one was very small child, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. And Abba one, which, you, the, which one? This is, is Chikikita. Chikikita. Oh, yeah. Very famous. Very famous. So now I'll do a bit from a song called Shankara Baranam. It's a very popular song. It's a Carnatic one. So this song is called Dorakuna. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. Any, any, uh, I'm not Indian, so <laughs> any of I know uh, one of your favorite songs, uh, Dil Hoon Hoon Kare. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bhupen Hazarika, Dil Hoon. Beautiful, beautiful song. Yeah. Go ahead.
very good very good very nice very nice there is a very famous uh, tamil song from recent times i don't know if you have heard of the singer sid sri ram ah yeah i he is very popular i heard him but mm-hmm. i can't cannot remember his song this is a popular song from his uh, okay. singing This song is called Maruvarthai Pesadhi. Uh-huh. Uh, I think you would recognize the uh, Surmai Akiyomi song, no? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Surmai Akiyomi. It's the Yashudas one, no? Yeah. Yeah. there is one uh, classical uh, krishna song so it's uh, typically it's a flute song mm-hmm. it's about how krishna is singing with his flute and mm-hmm. That's it. Very good, very good, very nice. Yeah, <laughs> good. So, Dr. Uh, Shridhar, you have any? You want to share any happy or any funny moment when you are whistling, maybe in at your home or yeah, outside? Said, I mean, uh, people think you are teasing someone if you whistle. Luckily, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, the way I have chosen to whistle is mostly at home in my balcony yeah. or. Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, so I've never done it outside, and in a function, obviously, I'm going to announce myself when I do it, so it doesn't uh, get taken in any wrong way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but funny events in that sense, I mean, people do remember. I mean, when uh, yeah. when I met my professor uh, after a very long time uh, from my training days, he still remembered and he requested me, so I liked it. I mean, so people remember that you can whistle, and when I <laughs> post on Facebook, for example, people yeah. think it's a surprising thing that I can. So. Yeah, well, what, what I'm imagining is uh, it must be very hard for you to control your temptation in public not to whistle, especially when you're hearing a beautiful song. <laughs> oh. Yeah, people may take it wrong way, uh, but I, I think as an art, it is evolving. This whistling as an art, uh, many people are not aware, right? That uh, you were uh, a while ago mentioning that there are international Indian some associations. Is there any competition yeah. at uh, national international levels? They do have. I mean, I've never considered taking part, but I mean, there are uh, people who whistle much better than me, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. mine is a pastime, a hobby. I mean, my singing <laughs> is the same. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure it must be a good stress buster, also. If you Google uh, "Sri Dar Whistle," there are a few tunes I put on. Yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. I, I've been there. That, that's where I caught you. All right. 
Thank you very much. And uh, I think before I let you go, uh, there's a Rosa, I think I, you have on your uh, YouTube clip also. Can you whistle a few lines for that? Rosa Janeman. Rosa, Rosa Janeman. Oh, that one. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good, Dr. Shridhar. I think I have one crazy thought, weird thought coming in my mind. Next time when I hear your good lecture or presentation, instead of uh, clapping, I will do like this. <laughs> That's exactly the cat calls you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I have people who call me crazy, but you will, you will feel connected. <laughs> No, I don't want you checked out. No, no, I will not do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, good fun. And yeah, it's, it's, always, it's always good to, you know, let out your happiness, uh, no matter what way you express it. Uh, thank you very much, I Dr. Sridhar. Uh, just one more thing yeah. to add. I mean, uh, I think this Whistler's Association, there was a song which became viral last year. And that's again a patriotic song. Maybe I can close with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. What, what, what is the song? You can name it also. Sare Jahan Se Achha. Sare Jahan Se. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, our national song, yeah. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, Dr. Shridhar. You started this talk show with a patriotic song, 15th August. Vande <laughs> Matram, and now you're ending this song with Sare Jahan Se. Yeah, we all, we all Indian people will definitely feel very much connected. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> it was always a pleasure talking on this extra co-curricular activity. So friends, doctors don't, are not only good in academics or the professional world, they are good in other uh, hobbies and passions also. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, Dr. Shridhar. Thank you. I appreciate uh, taking me on the show. Yeah, yeah. We'll catch up sometime more. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>